coming to systemic effect of hypercarbia which you can see in the operating room they can be increased cerebral vasodilatation and increased cerebral blood flow in case of central nervous system pulmonary vascular system which is most affected by carbon dioxide here you have an increased pulmonary vascular resistance which becomes very very important particularly in congenital heart disease or when you treat right ventricle and increase mean pulmonary artery pressure in cardiovascular it decreases the contractility increases the heart rate decreases the right ventricular ejection fraction and increases the right ventricle stroke work index in renal it increases the vaso constriction systemic vascular resistance comes down with hypercarbia and only thing which is beneficial with hypercarbia is it reduces the inflammatory mediators coming to diaphragm this is a normal arrangement of the cells in diaphragm where the muscle fibers and nucleus are arranged nicely and the degeneration and regeneration are equally balanced with hypercarbia you can see the muscle fibers being split so that the contraction is not as effective in a normocapnic diaphragm and the rate of degeneration is more than the regeneration thereby again the efficiency of diaphragm is reduced coming to cerebral blood flow i said the cerebral blood flow increases here you can see the blood component of the brain is increased with hypercarbia which can increase your intracranial pressure dramatically and which becomes very very important in case of a cns injury coming to respiratory efforts here there is impaired clearance of alveolar edema when edema happens hypercarbia should be more effective in removing it but hypercarbia decreases the clearance of the fluid so that more fluid comes in impaired phagocytic and antiviral activity of alveolar macrogases so that your respiratory infection increases attenuated antimicrobial response of bronchial epithelial cells again the infection can go up may induce bronchodilatation in the initial time but most of the time at the later stage it causes bronchoconstriction ambiguous effect on immune response and survival in pneumonia induced lung injury it can cause muscle atrophy and reduce anabolic capacity finally there is mitochondrial dysfunction and decreased proliferation of alveolar epithelial cells to summarize the respiratory effect of hypercarbia the beneficial effect is inflammatory response but the deleterious effect is it affects the alveolar epithelial function affects the epithelial cell repair it reduces the innate immunity and host defense and decreases the airway function what are the various complications which can happen with hypercarbia they can be unconsciousness coma confusion depression or paranoia panic attack can happen and arrhythmia this is very common with increased volatile agents or with increasing adrenergic stimulation these two are very bad combination increased volatile agent or increased adrenergic stimulation with hypercarbia can lead to dangerous arrhythmia it can lead to cardiovascular 